On this episode of AMA Air, find out about the technology used in the UAS for STEM Collegiate Challenge. And meet one of the AMA staff members who works behind the scenes on AMA Air. Plus, hear about a recent donation to the RC Resale Program. All that and more on this edition of AMA Air. Hello and welcome to AMA Air, your source for modeling news. I'm Chris Savage. And I'm Erin Dobbs. The Sun Valley Flyers will be hosting Winter Warbirds in Phoenix, Arizona, January 19th and 20th. Military planes of all eras painted in military schemes are welcome. And any size warbird is welcome at the first Warbirds over Lake Placid, hosted at the Lake Placid Modelers in Lake Placid, Florida on January 20th. There will be prizes for best flying and crowd favorite. If 1903 through 1919 scale aircraft is your niche, then the Blue Max is the event for you. Held in Geneva, Florida, January 26th through the 28th and sponsored by the Stanford Aero Modelers. This event will feature Dawn Patrol style flying for planes of early aviation. The Southern New Hampshire Flying Eagles are bravely hosting the 2018 Frozen Fingers Funfly in Merrimack, New Hampshire on January 28th. Dress warmly and prepare your aircraft as this event will be held snow, rain, or shine. Northern Virginia RC Club also plans to brave the cold with the NVRC annual snowfly in Chantilly, Virginia on January 20th. Events include taxi, loops, rolls, spins, and precise landing. Finally, the Barnyard Buzzards Model Airplane Club and Emerald City RC are partnering to host the 2018 Northwest Model Hobby Expo January 26th through the 28th at Monroe, Washington at the Evergreen Fairgrounds. The expo features FPV drones, maker projects, battle robots, trains, cars, planes, boats, and fun for the whole family. For more information on these events or to find one in your area, you can check out the sanctioned event calendar in Model Aviation or at modelaircraft.org. So it looks like there's going to be events in Lake Placid. I'm worried about the movie. <laughs> so the, the movie is definitely a concern, but you know what? I think the distance between the aircraft and the lake will be good. I think we'll be fine. Absolutely. We'll be good. Coming up, we have some updates you don't want to miss. Every journey starts somewhere. Our journey begins with imagination. And imagination can take us anywhere. Because the best journeys end with new beginnings. AMA Expo West is this weekend, and if you aren't attending, you can join us daily on Facebook Live at 9, 10, 11, 2, and 4 Pacific Standard Time. Plus, it's not too early to start planning for AMA Expo East February 23rd through the 25th in Secaucus, New Jersey. You can find more information at amaexpo.com. Last month, President Trump signed a bill that restored the UAS registration requirement. For more information and answers to frequently asked questions, you can visit modelaircraft.org gov and click on the UAS registration. Last month, the Athens Banner Herald, a publication in Georgia, reported on the Athens Model Aircraft Club and their recent celebration. Ray Sexton, an AMA member since 1999 and a modeler for 59 years, was celebrating his 90th birthday. Ray's fellow club members simply told him that they wanted to gather and fly on his birthday, but they surprised him with a birthday cake, cards, and a trophy. For many AMA members, this type of celebration and feeling of community are a couple of the main benefits of joining a club. Definitely. Plus, I'm sure most members and clubs have tons of these kinds of stories, and AMA wants to celebrate that. You can visit generationsofflight.com and share your story. 
Registration for the UAS for STEM Collegiate Challenge is now open. Participating teams will have to plan and execute a UAS data collection effort to create ortho mosaic imagery of a designated structure using a small unmanned aircraft system, or SUAS. To complete this task, teams must use PIX4D mapping software. The use of PIX4D software in this year's UAS for STEM Challenge gives student pilots an opportunity to get hands-on, real-world experience with one of the leading software packages available for mission-based flight. The students will begin by preparing their flight plan using PIX4D Capture, a mobile application designed to allow pilots to easily plan, adjust, and even execute their flight plans, providing robust options and a very intuitive user interface. After the flight plan has been completed, pilots can immediately review the data that they've captured to make sure that they've recorded the information they need for their mission. Back at their base, students can use the information captured during their flight with PIX4D Mapper, a powerful mapping software that will make use of both video and photos that were recorded. Using this data, students can leverage the software to perform complex calculation of sizes, distances, and volumes of objects, and even map the terrain that was in their flight path. Students can also use the images they've captured to create what are known as orthomosaic images. Orthomosaic images are made by stitching together any number of images taken during the course of the flight to create one large, continuous aerial image. Even more important than that, these images represent distances accurately, which means they can be used for mapping and can even be imported into other mapping tools. Students can also use the images they've captured to make point clouds, which are used to create 3D representations of the environment in which they flew. Finally, students can even use PIX4D to create simulated flights across and through the map. While most students in the U.S. for STEM program will use a multirotor aircraft to complete their missions, PIX4D can be used with any type of aerial platform, including fixed-wing aircraft and even traditional helicopters, making what they'll learn applicable to any type of aircraft. And because this software is an industry standard, students will walk away with real-world experience that will help equip them for careers in the UAS industry. Again, the 120-day access to PIX4D begins on January 22nd, so visit uasforstem.org to register. Coming up, we'll introduce you to the person who wrote this sentence right here. Want more news and stories from the AMA and Model Aviation magazine? Subscribe to the new Media Minute newsletter. You'll get a quick look at some of the stories you might have missed from Model Aviation right in your inbox. And for the drone and helicopter enthusiasts, the new Rotor Report is just for you. You'll find stories, tips and tricks, product reviews, and more from the world of helicopters and drones that will get your props spinning. Find these newsletters and others at www.modelaircraft.org slash publications. This year at AMA Expo West, our AMA Expo Express coverage will feature a new face. Let's learn a little more about Hannah Neiman. I'm Hannah Neiman. I'm the digital media specialist here at the AMA. So I do a lot of video work, e-newsletters, digital edition work. Um, I produce AMA Air, gathering the stories, writing them, helping produce those videos. I started with the AMA at the end of January of this year, so it's getting close to a year. Outside of work, I think the biggest thing in my life that's not work-related is fitness. I spend a lot of my time working on that. I go to the gym every single day for like a couple hours. Like I'll get up at 4 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. and be at the gym until 6 or 6.30. I started working out, it was actually two years ago on December 22nd. That marked like my two years. I went into a gym and I was like, I'm going to get a gym membership. And over those two years, I've lost almost 100 pounds. So that's my biggest motivator. At some point, everyone hits some sort of plateau, I think. I kind of hit that point where I was like, there's just that little bit of that goal. But I had that number in my head instead of just, oh, I want to feel good. So if you become too attached to that, that's when you're at risk for really unhealthy behaviors. Like you're not necessarily going to make any more progress. I really like doing like your classic workout DVD type stuff. So like the dance workouts and things like that, but they get old super quickly. So like I rarely do those. 
So my gym routine involves like elliptical. I recently started running. Um, I do some interval workouts with some free weights and then I do cable weights on occasion. And I feel like most of that is like a love-hate relationship. So strong, this is great, fantastic. I, I wanna stop, this, this hurts, I don't wanna do this anymore. So, yeah, but my favorite workout is probably like the dancer size type stuff that I don't do as often just because I won't go to a class. <laughs> So Hannah joined us uh, almost a year ago now, has been an awesome, awesome asset to the team and has done a fantastic job on AMA Air. I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does at Expo. Yes, her quiet demeanor and little comments that she slides in while we're trying to film, like right now, really makes <laughs> right. me laugh. <laughs> well, coming up, we'll tell you about her recent donation to the RC Resale Program. Do you have a story you think we should have on AMA Air? Then visit air.modelaircraft.org and tell us about it by sending us an airmail. And if you're not already a member of the AMA, be sure to visit modelaircraft.org and sign up today. The AMA Foundation recently accepted a classic sailplane collection from the family of Bill Carnes of Florida. Bill was a longtime member of the AMA and of his local club in Naples, Florida. Items donated to the AMA Foundation's RC Resale Program are sold to benefit AMA programs designed to preserve, enhance, and promote the model flying hobby. To view the current items for sale, you can visit stores.ebay.com slash rcresale. That's all for this episode of AMA Air. You can stay connected with us by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For even more videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to join us in person or on Facebook Live at AMA Expo West this weekend. From all of us here at AMA, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, but for now, it's time to get flying. <laughs>